going on guys? This is Tyler and Nora from Team Zombillies and Sienna with Team Big Spooky here, all from thescarefactor.com. For those of you that don't know, we are Haunted Attraction Reviewers, and tonight we are at Field of Screams in Brandenburg, Kentucky. You can see it back here, there's the Highway to Hell sign, there's this creepy looking clown guy over here. We're getting ready to go down and get our tickets and see what we can find out what's going on this year. We know they've got... We might get hit by a truck. Let's get out of the way. And uh, So we know they've got a huge cornfield. Uh, what is it, Nora? Like six acres or... The corn maze is six acres. Yeah, six acres, I think, cornfield. they got a really good looking um, overhead cut out. I'm going to show that to you right here. And uh, after that, they've got the barn, which is an interesting indoor twist to uh, the cornfield. It has two floors. has two floors, that's right. Or it did last time we were here. We will make sure to verify. And uh, after that, they usually have another little outdoor wooded trail type of section. And last year, or year before, they had a really awesome uh, Jason Voorhees scene where Jason actually yeah. came up crawling out of a lake. We're hoping we can see that again this year. Too. And then they do still have the hayride. We will be partaking in as much of that as we can and we will report back just as soon as we get through with that. And uh, so hang with us here. We will get you through. Alright, so we got our tickets and they recommended that the first thing we do is the hayride to hell. So we will be boarding the hay wagon and checking in with you guys just as soon as we get off there. Alright, so we just got off of the hayride to hell. Um, not a bad little hayride. Uh, some of the scenes are a little bit kind of far apart, but yeah, a couple of uh, scenes are uh, kind of devoid of actors, to be honest. But uh, it is kind of late, and it is their opening night. Um, they have possibly the largest spider that Nora has ever seen. She really liked that part. <laughs> had the little baby spiders oh, underneath there. Big <laughs> they had, let's see, a cemetery. They had a clown area. A really good witch that we're getting ready to go. They did for. have a really good witch, and yes, they do uh, want you to vote for your favorite <laughs> actors. <laughs> uh, so I'll definitely do that whenever you come out. Uh, they do <laughs> some awards and stuff oh, at uh, the end of the night and at the end of the season and stuff so uh <laughs> yeah definitely do that and uh next on the list will be the field of screams so we will catch up with you guys once we get if over we there ever find our way out if we can make it there <laughs> <laughs> so in between the gunshots here <laughs> so we're in the courtyard for uh, the field of screams entrance and once again, it's pretty dead right now because it's late on opening weekend and it's just a random Friday, really, September 10th. But uh, back here, they've got kind of a stage where on some nights they'll have bands and some different event kind of things going on out here. Pretty cool setup, really. Lots of room for a lot of people. Um, and then here at the head of the entrance, they've got this kind of freak show looking tent here. Kind of different colors and stuff here. And so I think we're going to start off inside of this tent. We cannot film inside the haunt. So this is probably going to be the last time I get to see you. Um, I might get to do another quick video before we go into the barn if there's a line there. I'll try to catch up with you then. If not, we'll definitely catch up with you after the trail. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on. So we just got out of the trail portion of Field of Screams, and that was quite a hike. Uh, we had the pleasure of uh, Chase going through with us. He's How you doing? here at Field of Screams. Uh, so tell us some of the new stuff that you got going on this year. We've got all kinds of stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. As you saw at the end, we had the last house on the left that we did. Mm -hmm. uh, well, and that and really just 
every year we're updating stuff. Absolutely. And doing, so really, as you I saw throughout the whole of the field and everything, there's just all kinds of new stuff. Right, but right. Yeah. I really liked all the new, uh, it seemed uh, like the story castle type thing. You yep. have Goldilocks out there. She got one of the bears, <laughs> but there's still two out there running around looking yeah, we for can't, them. Yeah, we can't find them yet. Can't find them. Uh, and out in the trail, we kept hearing gunshots, but he swears to God they don't have any guns out there. Yeah, I don't know where that guy came from, man. He's up in the watchtower, and he's just shooting at people left and right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so lots of cool stuff. Uh, there's a few uh, familiar characters, some common uh, slasher characters that you might see out there. Uh, they, Everybody we saw was just running around all over the place. Should be a really good show. Um, anything else you want to make sure people know uh, before we sign off? No, just make sure you come check us out. Field of Scream has been here a long time, and uh, always changing and improving. And we love our customers and hope to see everybody this year. Where can everybody find you guys at? FieldofScreamsKY.com or our Facebook page is a good place, Instagram, all that stuff too. Sounds good. Yep. All Thank right. you very much. Thank you. Yep. <laughs>
in the morning right now and we left about 10 minutes ago so that's it's how long, long it took us to get there and we had VIP tickets so we got in pretty quickly um, so yeah you gotta plan a night out there for sure it was every um, bit of an hour probably to get through all four parts of the park for sure yeah yeah it's definitely the longest haunt down here in this area that we have experienced you know. probably 15 minutes or so for the hayride to hell and the other 45 minutes you're, you're gonna be in there Unless you're just flat out running through the whole thing, then uh, yeah, you're you're going to be in for some walking, bring some comfy shoes, and it is comfy uh, shoes for sure, and yeah, tennis trail. shoes or something that covers your toes. Yes, I can see where there um, might be a little bit of mud situation if you get some big rains going on, but luckily so far it's been dry. So on this particular night, we didn't have any issues at all. It was a little bit of uneven ground, that kind of thing. Another thing to note is that um, a lot of this attraction seems to take place in a valley especially the hayride yes, and so it's cool. like well a it's like super real natural foggy down there mm -hmm. and b it's a lot colder than like it is in the city or so we were really glad that we decided to bring jackets tonight because it was quite a bit colder down there i mean we were running and i come out of there sweating and not able to breathe but i was still glad i had a jacket from when i was sitting on the hayride because yeah there's ramps and you've got to run from the killers or they'll kill you you know so there's times you gotta get down and crawl in the barn. Yeah. They do have some bypasses physical. if you're not actually able to crawl, but there's an option for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have a slide. Big slide. They had a vortex tunnel. A really good vortex tunnel. Yeah, that, I think it's the only one I've ever seen. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken, but it's the only one I think I've seen with stewardism design actually around is the pattern on the vortex. Mm -hmm. He's a very well-known 3D painter in the haunt industry. If you ever see the real colorful, really detailed, kind of, I don't want to say whimsical, but maybe they're whimsical, like uh, very big clowns and demons and all kinds of weird stuff in blacklight paint, 3D blacklight paint, that's probably stewardism. Mm -hmm. It is really cool. They had some other painting towards the end too that might have been done by him but it was real bright and looked like he had done it too. Mm. It was very unique. But yeah, for a haunted trail and a corn maze, because there's not we don't go to very many of those at all, um, we really recommend coming out here if you're looking for a haunted attraction where it takes quite some time to go through it, you know? Definitely plan on like I said earlier, you can you can count on spending some time out here if you're looking for something to do for sure. Oh absolutely. And, definitely get quite a few scares and tonight the main event was $25 and the hayride was 15 so mm -hmm. you can choose to do one or the other or both mm -hmm. and then there's a VIP upgrade for both so yeah that's uh, our review of Field of Screams for the 2021 season uh, we will not be publishing a written review of this one uh, per management's request for this year so we're and we fine. did visit on opening night. That's true. You know. That's true. So they uh, they can only get better as the season goes on. Um, definitely make sure you check them out. Also, be sure you follow us on all of the socials at thescarefactor.com. Uh, and if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, feel free to give us a like or a subscribe. Follow us. Um, please leave the comments on what uh, your favorite part of this hunt was. We would love to hear from you guys for sure. Uh, we will also have reviews similar to this on our podcast. It's the Scare Factor podcast, so definitely find us on there. And uh, we're also doing some collaborations with the Haunted Attraction Network. So we're really excited about that. Uh, you can find them doing their hashtag Hauntathon this year, doing daily podcasts uh, leading up all the way to Halloween. So. Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys at the next haunt and 